This video is just going to be a quick practice of sets and tuples. Notice that the um, title is sets and tuples, even though it should just be sets, but it's because I'm going to try and amalgamate the practice of both into one video. So let's just go over tuples quickly. So for those of you who've forgotten to make a tuple, we'll make a tuple called tub1. And the way to do that is by putting some brackets together. Now, a tuple can have as many items of the same value in it as you want. And it can have as many items in it as you'd like to put in it, essentially. It doesn't really matter what you put in a tuple. Okay, And this is how we make a tuple as a variable. And we assign it to that. Print up one oh, and let's run that and that's great we've got all the values in that we wanted now the thing to remember about a tuple is you cannot uh, delete any items remove any items or change them this tuple once it's set this tuple one here once it's set it cannot be uh, changed in any way it's immutable and unchangeable so if we want to make um, a new tuple, which is this tuple, for example, but with or without something, what we have to do is we need to make a list. So we'll call it list one of, and we'll put list function. And we have to convert the first tuple into a list and assign that conversion to a list variable. So we'll print that out now, print this one out just to make sure that that's got the same values as the tuple and now that that list um that that list contains all the same values as the tuple but isn't a tuple we can append to this or we can alter it so let's say we want to alter list one item zero which is a value low we can now change that to hold the value hello mundo which is actually word in spanish so hello mundo not hello world. Okay. And another thing we can do is we can append something to that. So dot append. And we'll append whoever's. 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 Big whoever's. Maybe I'll put big whoever's. <laughs> I'm just messing around. Huevos uh, is, means eggs in Spanish. Los huevitos. So that's just me practicing my Spanish while I can. So let's change those items and uh, let's quickly print list one again. So print list one. And now we want a new tuple that holds all these values. Since we can't change the original tuple, we want a new tuple that's similar to it. Okay. And we'll call that tuple tup two and we'll make that the tuple of list one okay and now if we print that it should have that same value system same values as list one okay so now we have two separate tuples with similar values but not the same we haven't had to change any of these tuples we just had to convert one of them into a list and assign that conversion to a variable. That's all we've had to do there. Uh, we can't, as you say, we can't do anything to these tuples. The, the only thing we can do really is just delete them and use them as they are. So yeah, there's not really much more to do though with, uh, with the tuples, to be honest. Um, I mean, we could probably make, I don't know, we could try this. I don't know if it's going to work or not yet, actually. But, um, I mean, we can probably convert this raw data into a tuple there. Nope. Nope. Doesn't work. So, never mind. Um, so, yeah, we'll move on to sets right now. So, to make a new set uh, out of nothing without using the set notation, I mean, we can actually use that function. So, there's a few ways to make a new set. We can make... Uh, an empty set we'll call it set one just like this i think not sure if that works actually let's find out it might not work yep so set one is that 
not sure if that's equal to a set. Set two equals set like that. So set two will be equal to an empty set. And let's just try it. How the way I can find out if set one is a set is by using the add feature here. Okay. If I can add to it, ah, ah, it's a tuple. Wait, that's why. Sorry, completely the wrong, uh, completely the wrong thing there. That's how I make a set. Sorry. Now set one should be a set. So type of set one is what I can ask. It's the dictionary. Nope, absolutely wrong. So. The only way to make a new set without any values is how I've done it here. So I'll put this here like that. Set one with no idea. This, however, if I look at the type of set two, type set two will absolutely be a set. Okay. So we cannot assign an empty set except by using this function here the set function okay the set function is the only way to assign an empty set if we try to assign an empty set like this it will turn into a different data structure called a dictionary which we'll learn about in the next video however i can assign a normal set a set with a, it, as long as it's got items in it so i can put the set to have 33 in it uh, 22 55, 99, true, whatever I want in that, yeah? Okay. And if we look at set one, or type of set one, it will be now a set. Yep. So I'm happy with that. So, we can add to these sets, as I've shown before. So we'll do set two, we'll add nine. And we'll print set two. Print set two. And while we're at it, I'm just going to make a print statement here. You know, just quickly print set one here. Because why? Why the heck not? Just check it. And we'll print set two. And set two should now lo no longer be empty. And now we'll use the add function several times. And you'll see that it's added nothing. Okay. Now. If we want to remove item, set to dot discard. We want to use the discard value, and we use this discard word uh, followed by these parentheses after the dot notation with the set name and the item within the set that we want to get rid of. Okay, and this will get rid of that nine, and set two should now be empty. If we use this many times over, we won't get an error message. But if we were to use remove. Uh, we would okay now with set one we're going to add the value 34 over and over again and because it's already got 34 in it once it won't add it again because it doesn't allow duplicates okay we're going to pop this so we're going to pop set one set one dot pop um in general and it should get rid of the 34. Okay. Should get rid of the 34. So let's just check that. There's no 34. Oh, no, it got rid of the true. Sorry. Because that's the first item there in the list. It got rid of true there. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. The only thing I can show you is that set one, if we assign it to have the same value more than once, it will allow us to um, do those assignments, but the assignments won't be valid. So it'll still create the set, and it'll add all these assignments as if it was using an add command. But when you print it out, it's only going to have one of them. And that's really all there is to it. You know, I could practice, I could do some more complicated things, but there isn't really much more to show you with these. Uh, so I just experiment with these if I, if if you can. Uh, so thanks for watching.